Hey there guys, welcome back. Today's gonna to be part six in the sunken greenhouse project, and it's probably going to be the shortest or least eventful update so far, and that's because I'm pretty much just gonna be showing you how I built these seed trays, as I don't quite have the rainwater harvesting system and cooling tunnel finished just yet, uh, but they are this close to being done. Uh, they just weren't quite video ready right now. Uh, so I figured, uh, other than waiting another two or three weeks for that, I might as well just give you a quick update on one of the other projects. So anyway, that's what I'm going to show you today is how I built these little shelves or seed watering trays. Um, basically, I made these so that I don't get water buildup behind these retaining walls. Um, as you can see, they are made of wood and steel, and I figured if I could keep most of the water from going uh, down there day after day, it's going to help them to hold up uh, over time. So anyway, I'll show you how I built them. I uh, made them out of some scrap polycarbonate panels that I had left over from uh, covering the greenhouse, some redwood fence boards, and some J-trim uh, masonry molding. And what they do is essentially harvest the water from watering the seeds or plants uh, when I actually do get them in here and collect them down there at the end. And I'll show you just a quick uh, snippet of how uh, this works. So basically I have a bucket down here. I have a little drain down there and here is a little jar of water. So every time I water, um, all of that water will travel down this molding and eventually into the bucket there. You should hear it in just a second. Wait for it. Wait. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it actually works. So anyway, let me show you how I built them and then I'll come back and update you on what is to come next. The first step I took in creating the shelving or the watering trays, whatever you want to call them, was to create uh, some sort of framework to go within the corrugations of the polycarbonate panels. Um, I ripped down some redwood fence boards into three quarter inch strips and then built a simple two by three frame out of some scraps that I had on hand and a couple pieces I had to buy. After that was leveled with a slight slope towards the far end, I laid down all of my polycarbonate panels and then inserted my redwood uh, fence board strips that I just cut into the corrugations to give a little bit of structure to the shelf, uh, obviously to be able to hold plants and, and different things like that. Once those were in place, I then proceeded to add some strips that I cut at about a 40 degree angle onto the side to be able to hold my makeshift gutter. Uh, which is actually a piece of J trim or J bead that you can find in the masonry section of most uh, hardware stores and it's about a half inch uh, wide so that's why I put it at an angle so as to catch the water. You'll see here that the water ends up skipping uh, this makeshift gutter pretty well because it uh, runs off the panels pretty quickly. Uh, so I experimented with some coins uh, placed in the valleys of the corrugations and you'll see here it actually helps to slow down the water quite a bit. Uh, so that's what I ended up doing. I figured I'd make some good use of money that's uh, devaluing by the day. Okay, so I don't know if your mind was completely blown by this, uh, this crazy engineering, but uh, that's pretty much the system. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm doing it mostly just to keep water from building up behind these retaining walls. And uh, as a lot of my projects, I just thought it was cool and I wanted to do it. Um, I may end up putting some more seed trays on this uh, higher shelf, uh, but I just don't know yet. Um, I only had a couple more pieces of the polycarbonate panels, so I'm just trying to figure that out. Um, as for the next update, the next update is going to have plants. We've had some unseasonably warm weather um, all the way through October. Finally, uh, the last few days have been pretty darn nice. I have some starts in the garden um, and they are just about ready to bring into the greenhouse so that I hopefully can get some benefit from this greenhouse. I'm sure if there is a record for anybody spending uh, a certain amount of effort on a greenhouse before growing an actual plant on it, 
Um, I'm probably pretty close to the lead in that. Uh, but anyway, on the next update, I will show you some plants growing in this greenhouse, hopefully. And then I will also talk about the cooling tunnel. Uh, as you can see there, I have a, a six or eight inch PVC pipe um, protruding through there. I just mortared some rock around there. And that is buried to about 100 feet out into the desert. I don't have the uh, inlet for the airflow yet, um, and I don't know if I'll have that for uh, the next update. But anyway, that's where that is. The rainwater harvesting system is pretty much all finished. I just need to paint the pipes and uh, kind of pretty it up a little bit. So anyway, the next update will be, I want to say two weeks, but let's, let's call it maybe three weeks. And uh, I will see you guys then. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And stay tuned for part 7 where I'll talk about the rainwater system, the cooling tunnel, and a few other things.